channel Nestart Fully. Here I talk about everything home decor, styling, and DIYs, which I haven't done in some time. So really excited about this video. Now, what's special about this video is that it's my first time collaborating with another YouTube creator who also happens to be a DIY enthusiast. So super excited. Now, what this video is is that we are doing a mystery challenge. Let me just introduce Shreya to you, and she can explain what we're doing. Hi guys, this is Shreya. I have a channel very similar to Anusha's where I talk about DIYs, home decor, makeovers and all that fun stuff. I'm like super excited for this video because this is our first time ever collaborating. We're doing this mystery box challenge wherein I have picked up three very mysterious products from Amazon. She has to create DIYs using those items. She has also done the same. She has sent me three products which I just received but you'll get to see what's there inside on my channel. I just cannot wait to see what Anusha creates out of the things that I've sent her. So over to you, Anusha. I hope that you find it interesting and challenging. So as you saw, Shreya mentioned that we have sent each other three mystery products from Amazon. I have received my three products and you can check out what I've sent her on her channel. I will give the link in the description box below and you can also see what she manages to do with them. But for my end of the challenge, I'm so excited to be opening these three packages because I have no clue what's in store for me and what I can do with them. Let's take a look. So there are two box packages and one flat package. Let's see what we have here. All right, so this is a placemat. It looks like jute. So let's see what we can do with this. Next, moving on to the next box. Okay, so this is exciting. Uh, the second one are these mirror stickers, mirror decal stickers in uh, the hexagon shape. So definitely an interesting product to work with. Moving on to the third one. Okay, so our third box looks very interesting. I like the cute illustrations in the box already. Let's see what's inside it. <laughs> All right, so we have these little wooden rings. And um, yeah, a lot of ideas popping in my mind. Let's see what we can do with these products. So we've got three very exciting products. One, these wooden rings. Two, this set of hexagon mirrored wall decal. And three, this beautiful placemat in jute. So let's get started. It's time to get started with the DIYs and the first mystery product I'm going to tackle are these wooden rings. Now I only had 13 of them, they're all the same size and I thought of many ideas but to work with just 13 I decided it's best I go with the idea of creating a wooden mobile or mobile. Now these are uh, products often purchased for baby cots but you can also use it as decor products. It's pretty much like a wind chime except that they're not going to make very musical you know sounds so I'm gonna get started with these in terms of the craft supplies I already have to add to it I have these very cute wooden ornaments that I'd purchased in Singapore and I didn't really know what to do with it they just looked so cute but now I can put these two together I also have a ring that I had purchased a metal ring to create some sort of a lampshade which I haven't so this can be the base from which everything hangs let's get started I'm going to first spray paint this ring gold because then I feel it matches with the wood better. The first thing I'm going to do is create this sort of an arrangement which is tying the ornaments to the ring. So I'm just going to take a ring and place any ornament randomly in between and on either side of the ring. And I'm just going to put this pattern together with some ordinary stitching thread. So once I do this, I'll be able to get to the next step. For the visual aesthetics, it's very important you get the distance correct when you're placing something on a ring like this. And to measure out that, I've taken the circumference of this ring with the help of a simple twine just placed around it. And then I've divided this twine with the number of wood circles that I have. In this case, I have 10 circles that I'm going to place around this ring. So my uh, measurement works out to around 6 cm gaps between these rings. So 
have completed the first DIY with the wooden rings and it looks so good. There are a few steps I couldn't show very clearly on the camera because I'm working with very fine thread and fine knots and my hands, fingers tend to cover everything on the screen. But what I've done is after creating these individual ornament uh, sets with thread, I then took a thread and looped it around the ring and tied it to the ornaments. Now what I've done on top is for every bit of ornament I've added, I've again added a string with a bead which ties to the top loop. So this is the one ring that I kept aside so that it will be there as the top which I can just put onto a hook. Now when it comes to the placement itself, what I did was I started with the shortest and then I progressively made the lens longer so that it can give me a nice spiral which looks very whimsical and nice. So the whole effect of this with stuff I already had at home, craft products I already had and didn't know what to do with has come together really well and it looks very cute. And next, moving on to the second DIY, we are going to tackle this jute placemat. Now this is quite sturdy, so I thought about what we can really do with it, especially in terms of home decor and I decided to do a clock with it. So this is going to be my clock base and it's going to have a very nice rustic charm about it because of the material which is jute and uh, I also happen to have a clock system at home already uh, so I'm just going to use that and put it together. So for the second DIY where I'm converting this placemat into a clock all I'll need is the clock mechanism itself and of course I'll need the hands of the clock, minutes, hours and seconds. Now besides this what I'm going to do first is start with creating a hole with my drill here and I'm also going to create a painting on top of this of a monstra leaf and then we'll put together the other elements. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free second DIY was extremely straightforward after waiting for the monstra leaf painting to dry I just put together the clock head and other elements that is all the other needles and then went ahead and accessorized for the number aspects I just put these little tags there actually to help bunch and keep your wires together but I felt it gave this overall look a better you know a design element so I went with that and then lastly I took the strap from an old bag and just placed it behind the clock with the help of again the wood stapler and that helps just hang this clock on any of my walls. We've now come to the third and final DIY which is to do something with these hexagon mirror decal stickers. So I thought a lot about it because typically they are just used straight away on the wall to create some sort of decor arrangement but then I decided to do something different and try to create a faceted glass mirror vase for which I'm going to use this outer packaging of an alcohol bottle as the base. So I really have no clue how this is going to turn out. Let's get started and see. So now I've cut this outer packaging to the size that I want for the base and next I'm going to take these mirrors and then cut them in half like I've done with this one so that I can fold it but I'm not going to remove the backing so it holds together and I'm going to leave the protective layer on top on as well because otherwise it may get damaged.
it has been a little tricky i won't deny but now the trickier aspect is to do complete these little triangles so i'm going to try and cut out some of that and try it let's see how it turns out Of all the three DIYs, I think this was the most crazy experiment and sometimes experiments don't always go to plan. So that's what's happened in this case. I think the idea in my head still looks pretty fab but in reality it was very difficult to pull off and I don't even think I had the right kind of tools. In fact, to make this more functional, I will have to use a glue gun and do a lot more adjustments but I might as well as just remove these mirrors and do something else. The important point here that I want to make for all DIY enthusiasts out there, whether you've done several DIYs or doing your first one, it's the process and having fun that really matters and your outcomes might sometimes surprise you and sometimes may disappoint you, but that's okay, still have fun with the process. So let me know which one was your favorite DIY among these three and uh, whether you'd like to give it a try yourself. Also, do check out Shreya's channel. She's got some fabulous videos and do check out her video where I've sent her three mystery products and she's converted them into some cool DIYs. So let me know which one of hers that you liked as well. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.